Ram Venera. It's been many moons since I, Morgan Freeman, last heard that name. It seemed everyone had forgotten the old world, but I guess it still echoes, even through deep time. The old world, Ryan's world they called it, was a perfect world. Thanks to Ryan Vanilla, Ryan Vanilla's YouTube channel, Ryan Vanilla, was the first to reach one billion subscribers. Surpassing PewDiePie just four days after his first viral video. After a while, he had over 5.8 billion subscribers. Incredible considering only about 4 billion people had Wi-Fi. He brought about the longest peace time in history. Those that thought to voice their dislike for Ryan Vanilla were sent to labor camps for 12 months. If they didn't change their ways, they were executed. That'll teach you to be allergic to Vanilla. Ryan declared it messed up, so the labor camps were dismissed. I gotta be honest, these death camps are, they're whack. Ryan was good. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. The world never recovered from the day a scientist named Dr. Professor Schwarzbrickel took everything away. But this isn't a story about Dr. Professor Schwarzbrickel or Ryan Vanilla. This is a story about one of his many subscribers, Craig, the one man who remembered. I wonder what I should wear today. Nah. Nah. Ah! Nah. Mm. Nah. My Ryan Vanilla merch. Perfect. for the Ryan Pledge. Yeah! yeah. yeah. I love Ryan. Ryan. He, he is, is the best. best. If you, you don't, don't like him, him you're a stinky, stinky pest. pest. And we'll die, die with, with the rest. rest. Ryan, Ryan is a savior. It's it's a savior. savior. He was an everyone's savior. Ryan is Ryan's the best. best. Even from the, the start. start. Hydration again. Hydration again. Hydration again. again. Alright. What is that? What is that? Hand that over. Hand that over. Hand it over. Good. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, we're going to be presenting poems today. Oh, Ryan got me crying. Oh, there's the there's one that I love with all my heart. Oh, Ryan, oh, Ryan, you truly got me crying. Ryan is the best, everyone knows. If you disagree, you're a mofo. Oh, Ryan, oh, Ryan. Your videos are the best that... <sighs> that you got me crying, Ryan. <laughs> that was beautiful. All right, who's next? Me, me, Craig. Yes, yes, yes. All right. This is called, if you don't like the best, you shouldn't have a bullet in your chest. The days I watch Ryan are truly the best. If you don't like him, you're a little bitch and will get shot in the chest. <gasps> Ryan is amazing. If you don't like him, you better pray you have a bulletproof vest. Because I am finna pop a bullet in your chest. Do not disrespect Ryan, for he has saved us. The days of Ryan are truly the best. Never disrespect him or you'll be buried down deep in the ground with the rest. 
For if I ever hear disrespect of our Savior, your only hope is that you have a bulletproof vest, because I'm finna pop a bullet in your chest. Amen. 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 All right. Anyone else? Me. Me. Okay, Randy. When they're gone, my girl, my dear, why must you die? The death of you makes me want to cry. What What the hell is this, dude? Yeah, where, where, where's all the Ryan? Where's the Ryan? No, mine's not, mine's not about Ryan. It's, it's about the death of my grandma. What the? Dude, what's, what's the point? The, what's the, dude, no one cares about your dead grandma. Yeah. No one cares, dude. dude where's no, the Ryan? No one asked for Mr. Kilo. I mean, they do have a point. Just get out of my class. Like, I don't even know you. Yeah, you come have to Come on, go. 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 Come on, go. 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 Did you guys hear about Ryan's new commercial? No. No, what was it? It was kind of controversial. Hold on. Water 2! Ever get tired of water? Yeah! Well, <laughs> I got a solution for you. Water 2. Water 2. Can we, we try 2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. H2O, we knew H2O. Water, water. H2O2. Oh, man. Oh, that's my bitch. Hey, you. If you want to drink H2O tea, you have to, like Ryan Vanilla. If you like water, you'll love water too. If you want to stay in the hydration game, try it out. It's amazing. You must be like Ryan Vanilla. What's up, bro? I, I, huh? Huh? What's, what's up? I'm Ryan Vanilla, and I approve this message. Wait, so why was that controversial? Well, it's because H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> so all those kids died. Oh, wow. Yeah. He was messed up. Yeah, that was pretty messed up. What about Ryan? Oh, no, Ryan's okay. He was not part of it. What about Ryan? Oh, yeah. Was... <laughs> Ryan's okay, dude. I just said that. Sit, sit back down. Yo, you guys hear about like Dr. Forsberg's new invention? No. no. It, it, it supposedly erases your memories. Oh, really? Yeah, we yeah, see. Yo, yo, check this out. Hello, my name is Dr. Professor Sports Bucket. I'm the smartest man alive, as everyone knows, except for Ryan Vanilla, of course. And I have come with the greatest invention ever made, besides, of course, Ryan Vanilla's YouTube channel. Anyway. This machine will make you lose your mind. <laughs> anyway, Levine. Yes, master. Come, sit. Very good. And the man who cannot be named. <laughs> What did you have for breakfast this morning? Fresh rats in the attic, master. And the vibe. What is this? The punishment. No, it's the real name. That. Yes, yes. Okay, the vibe. Okay, here we go. I just need to get things set up here. Yes, yes, maximum power. That's good enough. Okay. Are you ready, Levi? Yes, master. Here we go.
have for breakfast? I don't know, master. Ah, interesting. The bag. What is this? I've never seen that before, master. I've done it. I've invented a machine that erases your memory. Ha ha ha! Dude, bro, that's so bad. Dude. dude what? Think about it. He's gonna make us all forget about Ryan Vanilla. No, you're crazy, dude. Dude, you're going loco, man. You can't hurt me. Can't. No, bro. I'm not risking it. You know what doing this? Dude, you're crazy. You didn't even buy that. Dude, you just... Okay. That's someone else. This will reflect the race. No. Yes. Trust no. me. I've done it before. No. Everyone's calling me crazy, but I'm not. I'm not. Dr. Schwartzbrickle. He's onto something. I know it. I know it. I'm not taking this hat off. Or this merch. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. He's up to something. I feel it. I'm gonna watch Ryan Vanilla and go to bed, yeah. Ah, what a beautiful day. Let's watch Ryan. Wait. Where is he? Rain vanilla? That's that's not my Ryan. Must be must be a glitch by YouTube or something. Huh. Time to go to school. Dude, why are you wearing a tinfoil hat? Dude, come on, you know exactly why. Okay man. You do be wearing a tinfoil hat. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. What's up with that? Mm -hmm. I just you know exactly why. No, I don't, but it feels like it feels like like things have been missing lately. Uh, like, pieces true. of my life have just been like, you know? Yeah, like, oh yeah, dude, today, yeah. Ryan Vanilla's videos just weren't loading for me. Who's, who's Ryan Vanilla? Ryan Vanilla, is it like a friend of yours? <laughs> Guys, stop, you know exactly who Ryan Vanilla is. Mm, no. Father-in-law? Guys, I'm not even sure if this is legal to joke about. Is that your cousin? Dude, stop. Everyone knows who Ryan is. Like, do you really want to go to death camps? Yeah. Bro, you really I know they, they say they dismissed them, but I'm pretty sure they're still a thing. Dude, bro, who the hell is you, Ryan You're really going loco, man. <laughs> Do you guys really not know who Ryan Vanilla is? No. Dude, what are you talking oh, about? Oh no, he did it. He did it. Chill, though. Well, guess it's time for mouth to mouth. <gasps> Dang it! Dude, you you passed out for like 14 seconds. Bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. What was Dude, up I had this that? horrible dream. Uh, everyone, everyone forgot about Ryan Vanilla. Dude, who the hell is Ryan you, Vanilla? You really need to chill out with you that. Did, you did, like, it's not funny anymore, dude. Yeah. It wasn't a dream. You guys really don't know who Ryan Vanilla is, do you? No. Swartz trickle. I knew it. Dude, we're going to see the horse race. I yeah, have to go. But the horse race. The horse race. Horse race can wait. Dude, I We're waiting for Ryan cannot. I have like five hundred dollars on the horse. <laughs> yeah, well What's this video Swartz Brickle sent out? Hello, it's me again, Dr. Professor Swartz Brickle. And I know right now it's a very is in a state of confusion. Nobody knows what's happening. Nobody knows why the nations are, are united. Nobody knows what happened over the, over the past five years. But I have some answers. Through my cosmogeological, technological, philosophical contraptions, I've figured out that on Pluto, there are communist aliens who want to corrupt our capitalist society. So. If you see any Ryan Vanilla merch, you want to burn it. If you see Ryan Vanilla house, burn it. Ryan Vanilla car, burn it. Ryan Vanilla tattoo, amputate. All right? Because this stuff will corrupt you. This stuff got E. coli, Ebola, dissolves your lungs, gives you Alzheimer's, and worst of all, for the fellas out there, exploits your ball sacks. Now you might be wondering, what do I do? Get rid of that Ryan Vanilla merch. We will blow up Pluto tomorrow, okay? It's not a problem right now. The problem at hand is the Ryan Vanilla merch. You don't want E. coli, Ebola, Alzheimer's, lung dissolving, ball sack explosions. You don't want any of that, okay? All right, all right, just follow my orders. Just do what I say, okay, and you'll be fine. I am Dr. Professor Sportsbricker, and I approve this message. Yo, what are you doing? That's good, Ryan Vanilla merch. No! Uh, what are you doing? Right, he's a communist alien, that Ryan Vanilla. Dude, no, that's all propaganda. It's fake. I don't want my ball sack to explode!
Yo, whoa, 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 why do you have a gun? Did you see the new video Dr. Schwarzbrickle came out with? My yeah. ball's gonna explode if I have Ryan Vanilla merch. Yeah, but why do you have a gun? I gotta amputate this tattoo. Yo, 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 come, come down! Come. What has Dr. Professor Schwarzbrickle done? It's horrible. So many people are dying and the world forgot about the most beautiful, hilarious man alive. Ryan Vanilla. I'm going to hunt Dr. Professor Schwarzbrickle down, kidnap him, and bring him to this beautiful location. We're all killing. Yeah. I don't know what you were thinking. Your lab's only 14 hours away from me. I can get there, kidnap you, and bring you to the location. You're done. But after, after I go to sleep. Orion! Orion! He's in there? We've done it. The communist aliens are no more. Future is over. Thank you. That, that was great work, Master. Yes, you are. You did very good. Come on, Holmes, with the music. I'm sorry, Master. Master, I'm going to bed. Okay, Levi. Go to bed. Good night, Doc. Yeah, that's right. My name is Doc. Did he just say his name's Doug? You imagine having the name Doug? Oh.
doctor, huh? Doctor? Hello, Dr. Professor Schwartzbrickle. Or should I say, Doug? Who are you? I'm Craig. And I've brought you here to this beautiful lake to kill you. Whoa, whoa, wait, kid. I remember Ryan Vanilla. I remember Ryan Hills, the person himself. He was a great guy. He was hilarious. And he was our savior. And you took that away from us! You were wearing tinfoil hats, weren't you? Yes, I was. I could see your plan and I... I was right! How could you... Why, why would you do that? I wanted to start a new world. One without Ryan. Ryan Hills, Ryan Vanilla, whatever. Why? Why would you want to do that? He was just a mediocre YouTuber. What? Why would you say that about our savior? Did you kill him? No, he did that himself. What do you mean? He, he was doing 24 hour inside tinfoil ball challenge and when he came out, he thought it was a nightmare. Nobody remembered him. So he thought maybe I kill myself and wake up. Ryan! I didn't mean for this, Craig. I didn't mean for the death and destruction. I just always came second. Ryan! Ryan! You did this! You killed Ryan! And the world's going to end now because of you! I'm going to kill you for this! No, you can't. I'm Dr. Professor Schwarzbrugger. Ryan's dead and that's that. But I'm the only one who can lead this world. They all believe the communist aliens have come. Who's going to lead them out of this? If you kill me now, it'll be World War III. I'm Dr. Professor Schwarzbrickin, motherfucker. Ah! Ah! The days I watch Ryan are truly the best. If you don't like Ryan, you're a little bitch and will get shot in the chest. For if you don't like Ryan, you better pray you have a bulletproof vest. Thank God I had this bulletproof vest. What the hell? How'd you know? I figured someone would try to kill me. Anyway, Craig, don't kill me. I can fix this. I'm the only one who can fix this. I don't want to live in a world with you, Dr. Professor Schwartzbrickle. Craig, this is your last chance to give me a last chance. <laughs> I don't want your chance. And why is that? Because in a world without Ryan, there's only crying. And well, that's that. Yes, I'm the same Morgan Freeman as before, and just feeling a little under the weather. Definitely doesn't have anything to do with the budget of this movie. Anywho, Craig was right. There was only crying. A month later, ARD, after Ryan's death of course, Craig got into black tar heroin, cocaine, and basically any drug he could get his hands on to stop reminding him of Ryan. Month four of ARD, he overdosed, and Craig was dead. Poor, poor Craig. Around the time he died, Levi was elected president of the world. He was the only person anyone could trust after Schwarzbrickle's death, which everyone blamed communist aliens returned for. A year later, Levi was assisted by some crazy anarchist libertarian saying we need anarchy 
everyone says he was also a communist alien. Then, anarchy happened. The world could trust nobody. It was non-stop war and survival of the fittest. Eight years A.R.D., there was said to be one man left alive named Henry Solomon. Henry Solomon was said to wander the world alone for a year before nature took him over. Where the hell am I? Year 9 ARD is when Henry Sullivan died. They say 9 years because there are 9 letters in Ryan Hills. There's said to be no human alive after 9 years of Ryan's depart. It's said that Henry Sullivan was grappled in the foot by the grass with the sun setting and the beautiful birds chirping with the wind on his face and he was pulled down slowly and peacefully before the last man alive became part of the old world. It's said 11 billion years later, Adam and Eve were born. It's said to be 11 because there's 11 letters in Ryan Vanilla, and that's when the new world begins. It's said there will be a second coming of Ryan one day. His YouTube channel will return and be bigger than ever before. He will be loved by all and create the perfect utopia again in hopes of no interference. The world needs Ryan, because as a wise man once said, in a world without Ryan, there is only crying. <laughs>